Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And as we are a week away from the end of support for Windows 10, just a reminder of some of the options that are left for you to uh, keep your PC or depending if you're uh, capable of running Windows 11 or not and so on. What are the different options? Well, the first option is, of course, to use the extended support. Windows 10 has, and you should have, in your Windows updates, a extended support banner that tells you, you know, you can get and enroll in extended security updates. This is good for one year and will give you updates until October of 2026. So this adds a year to your PC. It makes you uh, think about what is next. Do you want to change your PC? What do you want to do? Uh, do you want to, you know, install? Uh, some people will maybe install a Linux distro. For the most part, most people and the majority of people actually won't go there. They will want to stay in Windows. Um, a lot of people will buy a new PC. It's obvious the way Microsoft pushes all of this. And that's what's going to happen for the majority of people. But you do have another option, and the option is interesting for more years, and that is to go to a thing called Zero Patch. Zero Patch is a promising five years minimum of updates for security. It's um, an independent company. It's a third-party company, so it has nothing to do with Microsoft. Uh, you subscribe, you pay the fees for a year, which are um, something like 30 to $40. And you will have uh, the updates every month. Uh, the difference on Zero Patch, because a lot of people are like, oh, is it always, you know, is it going to be on Patch Tuesday? No, Zero Patch updates appear when they are ready. So, which means that your system can be patched at any time during the month. And the other thing is you don't have to think about it because zero patch updates do not require a restart. Zero patch uses a different way of patching the system. And that means that it will patch Windows 10 by um, stopping the process in memory, patching it, and then restarting the process. So it doesn't require a, um, it doesn't require a, um, a restart uh, to do so. Uh, the other thing also, if you're using an older version of Office at the same time, like Office 2016, 2019, um, you will actually have Office patches too, uh, no extra cost. So this is something that could be very interesting for some of you. And uh, so this is going to be the second option. And this could be interesting if you want to keep your PC for quite a long time. Now, there are other pieces of software that might stop updating before, but at least you know that you have more than a year, if you wish, um, as Zero Patch does promise at least five years, so at least until uh, 2030 and maybe beyond, depending on how many people are on Windows 10. And, of course, the last option is um, either you change your PC to something else. It could be a Linux distro. It could be a Chrome OS machine. There are ways to do that. And uh, of course, like I said, the majority of people will do that. It will be uh, upgrading to Windows 11 by buying a new PC. I will share the uh, link to Zero Patch in the description below so that you can check it out if you wish to have um, long-term support for Windows 10 and keep your PC alive for a while. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.